Hey everybody, Joe from Jail Builds here today. We got our parts in from our Bronco. Uh, been buying stuff slowly because they're quite expensive. But today what we got, we bought some lights right here for the mirrors. And then we bought some of the step bars. So we're gonna go through and put those on today. Got everything on the box. Here are the running boards, our steps here. Got the Bronco, see Bronco on them. And then our lights. So let's get a bomb. So this side's done, it's all done there. I'm gonna come over here and do this side. But what you gotta do is if you already had, you got these, so you gotta take these off. And how you do that is right here underneath. You gotta take these two bolts, there's two on each one. And there's one down there and there's one up here. These are 10 millimeters, so you gotta take these off. And then you take these bolts off, these are 13 millimeters. And then that will expose this bracket here. So this bracket here also comes off. And there's a bolt up here. Once, there it is. Right there, it'll take off. And that's also 13 millimeters. Once those are all off, then you can put your step bar on. Um, so these are the directions. If you didn't figure that out from the directions here. Yeah, that's the directions I gave you. <laughs> so that's how I show you. So. Take that off, that bar off first. Like that one's from the other side. There's those bolts I was pointing out. The two here, that one, and then there's the brackets I pulled off. So take all that off and then you can put the new one on. And that's what we're gonna do on this side.
There you go, steps are installed, the lights are installed. So right here it says accessory ready. Makes it look like there's a little panel, but it's just a mounting spot with a screw. But that was installed. Got the other one on the other side. And have to do a little bit of wiring. So I ran it underneath the hood and ran the wire in here. Mounted that, ran the wire across. Over the driver's side, driver's side has all the wires to the switches right there. And then I ran the second one right down in here and down. So in the video you saw me looking at my phone. If you come inside, turn it on. You come over here to features. Good owner's manual. Categories. Uh, let's see, go instrument panel and interior, and then all the way down to the bottom. It says auxiliary switches if equipped, and then you can do locating and it shows you where the wires are. Or if you go to let's see, excluding Raptors, identifying. This tells you what each switch, so the switches are up here labeled six, and then come down here, auxiliary one through six, shows you what color the wire is, and what size, and what kind of amperage you got. Uh, so I took a picture of that, so that's why I was looking at my phone during the wiring, uh, so I could figure out what wires to use. So I did it to auxiliary, let's see, six and five. So these two last two, um, I wired those up to that. Go. Came with these little covers. Kind of cool, but at the same time, if you want to use light, you got to pull it off. So if you're not expecting to need them, you're going to have to get out and take it off. But for now, a little cover, protect them. And those are the lights, and then step on this side. Being I bought these factory Ford, um, I expected them to be a little bit easier. I wasn't expecting I had to take all the panels off on the bottom for the steps. And then same thing for the lights. It made it seem like those were just accessory ready. You just undo the screw, that would pop open. You just plug it in and play. Um, but that was not the case. So it took a little bit. I mean, not super hard, but also could be simpler. If I wouldn't known that I was gonna have to run basically my own wiring for those lights anyway, probably wouldn't have bought those ones from Ford because they're fairly expensive but got them now and they look good so those are there and they're working well everything's working well so thanks for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comments um, but yeah if you want to go try it not too hard like I said just take a little bit a little bit of time not too few tools um, but it's doable super easy so get out there and have fun with your Bronco